What up everybody, JP here, and this is going to be my review of Texas Chainsaw 3D. Um, I already did one review, It my opinion slightly changed after letting it sink in a little bit, so I um, decided to re-record a different review, and um, this one should end up a little bit better. Uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D from the year 2013, obviously. It has a tagline of evil has many faces. Um, it's a little bit late right now. I'm kind of tired. But anyway, going to get through with this review. Um, I'm just going to flat out say what I thought of the film. Um, just straight up. It was good, but not great, not amazing, not... Um, you know, it didn't blow me away. It it wasn't what I was hoping it was gonna be. It was a little. It was disappointing in in some ways. Um, I was expecting it to be a, a great sequel, showing that uh, sequels can work even after so many years later. Um, it was supposed to re-energize, uh, you know, horror films in the mainstream at least, and uh, that's what I was hoping it would do. And uh, it didn't. It, 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 I, I liked the film. Um, I, I, I liked it. I had a good time watching it. It was a, it was a fun watch. Uh, it's a good watch. Um, it's just not great. Uh, it's not really bad in my opinion either. Um, but uh, yeah. So that's basically what I, what I think of it. Um, let's go into the, the film. Uh, first up. I want to say, when I was going into it, I was wondering if it was actually going to be a sequel or if it was going to be uh, more of a remake and they're just kind of using the sequel thing um, just so they didn't look like they was remaking a film that was just remade, you know, 10 years earlier or whatever and a bunch of times before that. So uh, it is a sequel. It, it, it actually has a little recap of what happened in the 74 version, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, then it picks up right after that. Now the transition isn't super smooth. Um, it isn't as good as I would have liked it to be, but it is a cool, you know, it's cool that they, they picked up right after and it, and it almost fits, not quite, but, but it, it's, it, it's pretty cool. Um, you have the, uh, the police and, uh, they, they show up at the Sawyer house after, the whole uh, first film happened, um, you know, the Sally thing after she got away or whatever. Uh, they're there to take them down. Um, the Sawyers are inside, and uh, the only there's something different though. They have more family members than we've seen in the original, which you know is okay. I guess it's it's used for the plot. Um, you have a Gunnar Hansen cameo. He's one of the people in the house, which is pretty cool. Um, Bill Mosley plays the cook. Um, and then you have a another uh, female family member who's carrying a baby. Um, then angry townspeople show up in almost like a lynch mob, uh, and they want to kill the Sawyers, burn down the house. Um, Leatherface obviously escapes. I'm um, trying not to spoil too much, but, you know, obviously he's not going to die in the first five minutes of the movie. Um so yeah, and the and the baby the baby gets taken, stolen, and uh, raised in another home. So um, the original Sawyer baby um, grows up. It, then then after you know the house burns down, it cuts forward to present day, but uh, it can't be exactly you know the time that it's been since that happened. So it's probably like twenty years later or something. Um, and uh, it, it picks up with the girl now, the baby now. A, a full-grown girl um, she finds out that she was adopted and her real parents were um, you know the Sawyers and because her grandmother dies and sends her a letter kind of like a will thing where she uh, is giving her her house and uh, Leatherface is uh, also a resident of that house so the the girl and a few friends decide to go check out that house um, she says piss off to her parents they were kind of douchebags anyway um, they get to the house and uh, they eventually meet Leatherface. That's the story that took me longer than I wanted to to explain it. Um, there's also a 
family dynamic with the sis, the the girl and uh, Leatherface, who they are cousins. Um, this film took uh, it, it went in a different direction than I was thinking it would going into the movie. I thought it was going to be similar to what we have seen time and time again in the Chainsaw films, but they did something completely different. Um, with and it was. I, I, I like that they did something different. I'm just not sure what they chose to do with uh, the relationship between um, Leatherface and the girl was the right direction to go. I like that they tried something new, but I'm not sure if they tried the right thing. Um, what I liked about the film, I liked the opening. I liked how it was a sequel. I like how, you know, it... It was cool seeing the the house again and stuff, you know. I, I like that part of it. Um, after that, there was really no build up to Leatherface. He just kind of eventually was there. It was quick, and um, I don't know if I. I think it would have been better to have some kind of build up. Um, but he just once he was there, he was there, um, and it happened really fast. From then on, it's a slasher film. Um, and it, it goes through that fast, almost too fast. Like, I wanted to see more more stuff. I, it just it, it goes through the kills really fast, and, and you get to this other part of the film. Um, and I also feel like they wasted a big opportunity. They, uh, there's a scene where Leatherface is at a carnival, and there's people everywhere. I was expecting just a crazy, uh, you know, slaughter, massacre, um, at the carnival, and it just feels like they wasted that opportunity. It seems like they shouldn't even have went to the carnival if they wasn't going to have Leatherface just start hacking everybody up. Um, that was that was the most disappointing thing in the film. Um, the gore, the, the thing, the 3D, it, don't even worry about it. See it in 2D. The 3D doesn't really do anything. I really don't like 3D too much anyway, but in this case, the 3D really doesn't add much to the film. Um, and also, the 3D really makes it to where I can never, sometimes I can't see what's CGI and what's practical because of the 3D. I don't know, it like distorts my, you know, vision or something uh, of seeing things for, you know, not digital. Um, so I don't know, I, from what it looked like, there was some good practical effects, um, but I there was also some CGI. Um, I think like some of the blood splatters were CGI, but you know, the actual gore itself looked pretty practical, except for one of the kills. Uh, it was definitely CGI. I don't know if it was good or bad CGI because the glasses, uh, um, it always messes me up. But, um, yeah, so it, it seemed like it had some decent gore. Um, nothing, nothing. I, once again, disappointed though. I mean, I was I was expecting them to do some great, like, face cut off, you know, when he does his mask and stuff. It, it was it was it was a letdown it was just um, he didn't uh, it didn't look how I wanted it to look um, and uh, the, some of the characters are stupid that I've you know I heard people say that the acting is is so bad it wasn't that bad it, it, it wasn't even bad in my opinion it wasn't great but it was just it was all right um, so yeah uh, acting pretty solid characters uh, females are really hot. Um, everybody else kind of throw away ish, um, but o overall I liked it. I, I did like it. I know I'm kind of picking apart a bit right now. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Um, I wouldn't go see it in the theater um, unless you're a Chainsaw fan. Um, then go see it just just to see it. Um, but you could probably wait for DVD. Um, it's nothing that you have to see right now. Um, I did really want it to work though because I wanted to show that you can make a sequel instead of a remake even though it's been so long. The actual sequel part of it worked really well, you know, the like it, it was cool seeing it, it be a sequel to the original. Just that the the storyline that they they went with is what kind of made it not work to me at least. Um some of the cops and stuff are a bit dumb. Doesn't really that stuff doesn't bother me too much, but um, I will say Leatherface looked pretty cool most of the time. I, I didn't like his wardrobe sometimes, but um, he was he was pretty badass. Uh, there was a couple scenes where he just looked you know violent and badass. So 
that was awesome. Um, there was some good scenes too. Uh, there's a scene where somebody's in a coffin. I, I really like that scene. Um, some chase scenes and stuff. Uh, the, the one of the good things is the the shots, the camera angles and stuff. Really nice shots of Leatherface. Uh, you know, walking and and far away in the distance and stuff. I really like that. But um, I'm gonna wrap this review up. It's 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 a three out of five. Um, it's it's good average. You know, um, uh, above average. Good. It's not great. But uh, it's 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 a it's definitely worth a watch when it hits DVD. So um, you know that's my review. Hopefully you guys um, can find something great about the movie. Um, and uh, hopefully I would I'd like to hear other people's opinions too. So this is getting pretty long. I'm gonna cut it now. Peace out.